Hey guys, it's Gamby5874, and I'm going to be going over how to do the Assassin's Creed Unity puzzle, the Cell of Aporis. This is the third of the set to unlock your Nost Nostradamus Enigma armor thing. It's like Thomas something. It's that medieval dude's armor that's below your little assassin's house hub. So the basic point of this is fling on these rocks that you see me doing and get to the other side. The difficult part about it, though, is that the steam comes out of it. If you saw a few seconds ago, I kind of stood in front of one. You see air coming out. Uh, and if you get hit, that happens. You fall down. Uh, you just run back and do it again. So the first time I did it, or the first few times, actually, I didn't, you know, I was trying to find a pattern. I don't believe there is an actual pattern to it. Some of them shoot out steam. Some of them don't. Um... And then you just kind of have to watch for it. The best way to do this is to just be patient about it. Don't worry about getting it your first try, whatever. Just do it slowly, and you'll pretty much have no trouble. There are a couple of them that don't shoot steam at all, usually in the corners. Um, those are pretty easy to deal with. And then you back eject, and then you just kind of go through. The second half is a little trickier just because there are more turns and you have to watch out for. Um... You just wait for the steam to shoot out and then fling to the next one. Again, being patient is pretty much guaranteed way to get it. Um, but once you pass those at the end, you just go up, collect the chest, and then open the door. And then that'll be your third and final part of this uh, quest. And then you unlock the armor. Um, I have it shown here. I personally don't like the armor. I think they could have done more with it. Obviously, that's probably what the Assassins wore in the medieval times, but uh, it still sucked for me. I did it for the achievement. Other than that, you know, I'm not going to wear it. It looks kind of dumb. Could have made it a little cooler, I think, to make all those uh, enigmas a little more worth doing. But anyway, that's how to do it. It's pretty simple. The other two puzzles in the Nostradamus Enigmas stuff is fairly simple. It's a simple parkour one. And then, you know, you just kind of rotate the planets for the second one. But this one was a little, you know, annoying to deal with, especially if you're trying to wait and look for a pattern that's not there. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.